What's going on guys? Today we are grading all of the drop number two golden tickets. We're also going to talk about which cards are worth it, which cards are good, which cards are not. It's all going to be talked about here in today's video. Of course, before we get started, if you are part of the 67% of people who watch the videos and are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And I will be live today on Twitch, 6 p.m. Eastern, streaming our second ever Madden tournament. Should be a fun one, so come through the link for the Twitch channel is down in the description. Okay, let's get started with what is so far the worst golden ticket of the year. And that's Dalton Kincaid. There is no vision on this card. There was no heart. Whoever made this card did not know what they were doing. And, and, and these golden tickets, they suck, man, because people that don't know what they're doing, when they like, you just waste a golden ticket like this, it really sucks. Like, it really does. But... They gave him 99 pass block. I guess this guy was having problems getting blitzed uh, very aggressively. So he wanted a guy that could really hold down the fort for him. A uh, very good blocker, though. Very good blocker. Good break tackle. Um, 98 juke move, 91 COD. Stats, honestly, are not bad. It's just some of the things you just, like, kind of scratch your head and look at. Especially the abilities on this card. Obviously, the x factors are going to be great. He's able to get Vanguard, all that good stuff. Um, because he's a golden ticket. All these cards are able to get charged up. I mean, all these X-Factors are able to get charged up and charged down. Um, but for the abilities, he gets Matchup Nightmare, Slot Apprentice, Jukebox, and Tight End Apprentice. These two abilities, most likely you don't really need at all because he's uh, you have a Hot Route Master QB, especially coming up here at the end game. They're going to be given every QB Master Tactician, as we already saw with Andrew Luck today. Um, but Jukebox is good. I guess the best setup if you don't have... If you, if you have Hot Route Master, is Matchup Nightmare Jukebox. But as far as a golden ticket goes, right? I mean, the height, 6'4", 240, will have the good juke animation. Um, I, I think this card is the definition of a... Uh, this is a D. This card's a D, okay? I'm going to give this card a D. On the golden ticket scale, this will end up being one of the worst ones from this drop when we look back at the promo when it's all said and done. Uh, next up, let's talk about Mike Allstott. Mike Allstott... Fullback. So I saw some people saying, why would you ever waste a, full, a, a golden ticket on a fullback? Well, fullbacks can be valuable. Only problem with Allstott is he's 248. So the juke animation at that weight isn't as crispy as the guys who are under 240. I think it's 244, um, which is definitely unfortunate. But 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 run block. Of course, he's a very good run blocker with him being a fullback, six foot one. If you like more of that power back, to me this year, I just don't like that power back because power back animations are just far inferior to the juke animation in the game right now and just being an elusive back but 99 juke moves definitely really good 95 short route running what was the catching at catching i believe is like in the 80s i think uh yeah 87 there so a good building very good stats for mike allstott only problem is, is again not having the super crispy juke animation and for his abilities also a bit of a head scratcher as whoever made this card gave him free evasive and free jukebox Free evasive and free jukebox. I do like that on these fan made cards. Um, they are giving them four zero AP abilities. But oh my bad, I didn't even mention this. It's only two discount ability slots, by the way. Even on the fan made ones, which is that which definitely sucks, but it is what it is. Those are all stats theme teams right there. And here are the X factors that he is able to get. Um, every single one pretty much. So um, of course, good X factors on the on the mm, on the golden ticket scale. If to me, I think Brees Hall is still the best um, golden ticket running back. And obviously, I, I, I do need to change my grades on those two cards because I had Darrington Evans at like a D. I had Brees Hall at like a C because they didn't have the X Factors. With him getting the X Factors now, that does lift, that does change a lot of things. I think I'll give Brees probably like an A. Darrington Evans is probably like an A minus B plus. All Star, I do think I would probably go All Star over Darrington Evans. I think that one is, no, that one's kind of close though. We'll put him in the same. I'll go. I'll go A minus B plus for Mike Allstott. Um, again, though, I should mention this. Even going back to Kincaid, are these cards worth it? Uh, Kincaid. Let's, let's go check on Kincaid's price real quick. I think he's going for around 700k right now. Um, to, yeah, if he gets down to like 500k and you need a tight end, like, sure, bro. I, I mean, five, five, like 500k with that card. He's got good stats. He's got decent enough abilities. Uh, Mike Allstott, however, I think he's going for about like 1.1 1. 1 right now. I think. Uh, one, oh, well, he shot up to 2 million. Okay, this is not worth it. Yeah, don't. If he's at this price, no. If he's at like 800K, sure. When, when, he, when he gets down to that, I'm comfortable. But where he's at now, 
nah, I'm not comfortable buying that card. Um, next up, let's talk Patrick Willis, okay? This card has potential to be 99 speed, 98 acceleration, really good stats across the board, 242. 99 COD, yes, 99 impact block, good hands as well on the linebackers, not, you don't see that often. Good pass rush stats, and Willis, if they did, well, I, I can actually check out mud.gg because these are stats that are, you know, hidden on, on the actual game here. But I do want to see his traits. Okay, perfect traits on him. So he can be your 6'1 drop linebacker still. Um, yeah, really good stats there on Patrick Willis. But um, for the abilities, let's see him. Of course, you are going to have all of the um, linebacker ability or X factors that can be charged up for 66% of the time, which is very good. Good versatility there. And let's see these zero APs. Tackle Supreme, Lurk Artist, Mid Zone, Inside Stuff. Very good job. This is a very, this is a very good golden ticket. I have no problem with it. You gave him, you gave him tackle supreme or secure tackler for those who want it. You gave lurk artist because you obviously need lurk artist. Mid zone is great as well, and inside stuff if you really want to go that route. Really good golden ticket here, man. I, I'm gonna give this one an A. I really feel like, um, you know, I think the build is what really limit limits this card. You know what I mean? Like the fact that we're able to get like six foot seven users, which you're about to see in a second, a six foot five one, um, is what makes this card an A. But other than that, really good card, and I want to see what his price is at because. Uh, this one could be worth it. 1.6. Um, damn. Okay. I would say like a million is quite reasonable to buy that card for. A million. Uh, it depends on what your coin stack's at. Like if you're going to buy them for a million, you're going to have zero coins left. Don't do it. But yeah, that, that's not awful. That's not awful. But this right here is the headline of the of today's promo. This right here without question, okay, is the headliner card for today because Calvin Johnson, man. Calvin Johnson, six foot five, 236 pounds, 99 speed, 98 acceleration, 99 power and finesse moves. And Calvin Johnson, this card is based off of his ultimate legend at a position left, left outside linebacker. And that card has perfect traits, just like LT does, just like this Patrick Willis does. So he's not only potentially the best pass rusher in the game because he's going to get, um, uh, you know, he, he actually doesn't get Colossus. Wait. I was really, I thought we'd get Colossus. I would, I thought he was gonna get Colossus for sure. He does get Unstoppable Force, but doesn't get Colossus X Factor. Wait, does Patrick Willis get Colossus? I'm on G, I'm on GG over here. Does Patrick Willis get it? He had to do a threat. Maybe they just took Colossus out of the pool for these guys. Maybe they did. Cause I'm surprised that he does not get that. But he does get Avalanche if you want to go that route, but. I mean, dual threat's decent, you know, for pass rushing. And then also, um, Unstoppable Force is still good. I, I thought Colossus would be on him, but Unstoppable Force is still solid. So, let's see the abilities on Calvin. Lurk Artist, mid, mid zone for zero. Okay, short, medium round K, I don't, like, love it. But I guess it makes sense as far as, like, if you're in 6-1, like, like, manning a guy up, you can kind of man a guy up off the edge. Or even as a user, if you're, if you're using the other guy, you can man him up or... Even man, even just man up a guy, and then you'll have the KOs, even if you're usering, um, which you could always do. But good abilities here for Calvin. Uh, I, this, 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 this one's an A+, plus, okay? Because you have the pass rush X factors. If you want to put them in 6-1 and have them be a pass rusher. Um, if you're, if you're going to use this card, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't even use X factors on him, to be honest. I would use it somewhere else. There's so many good cards that, get, get, that just get good X factors in this game right now where it's not even worth it. So if you're going to use the card, I wouldn't even use X-Factors. If you aren't, though, I would definitely go and stop before and let him scream off an edge. And, and like, again, you can drop him in the coverage in 6-1. You can click on and use him off the line. Um, that's honestly what I was doing with his Ultimate Legend card. That isn't obviously as good as this one. But, you know, just crazy stats. It, it, you know, this right here is a golden ticket, okay? This is a golden ticket. I would like to see better ability buckets on my golden tickets. Like, two discounted abilities. I thought we were going to get three, but... Two discount ability buckets. I mean, for golden tickets, they should just... The only customization of a golden ticket, in my opinion, should be the stats that get boosted and what card it is. I think they should get every single ability for zero AP in two slots. If they're going to go two slots, give us every single ability. Give us that versatility to use the card however we want to. I think that is truly the, the solution, the golden tickets. And it would make it hard for people to make bad golden tickets and golden tickets that people don't want. I think it really would be, so... Yeah, Calvin Johnson gonna give an A plus. All in all, pretty solid drop. We had what uh, a, a, you know, an A minus, B plus card here. Patrick Willis, I'm gonna give him the A, uh, A plus for Calvin Johnson. 
And then we do have Kincaid, unfortunately, in this draft, who I have to give a D to. But pretty solid drop. None of these cards I, I would say buy right now. Be patient. But being patient doesn't, doesn't look like it really pays off too much as Vincent Jackson's gone up in price. Brees has gone up in price. Darrington's gone up in price. And Julius Peppers has, has actually gone down. Probably because Calvin Johnson came out today. Probably why. 